Hello everyone, welcome back to the next vlog. Thank you so much for your support on the previous two. Very, very kind of you. My arm's getting sore, so let me pop this down on the table. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yes, so today is Wednesday. May 25th. Got up early today, did a workout this morning, I did my member stream and I've been working on Horse With No Name, I've been working on editing it. I do have to redo one of the harmony lines because I've realised I didn't quite sing it right. So I need to re-record that at some point today or tomorrow. Just a little note I need to fix that kind of made makes the harmony sound like when I listened to it back I was like something's not right there so I need to do that. Yeah I got it all filmed and I like how it sounds actually. I think it sounds really cool so I'm excited. It should be up by the time you watch this so I hope you enjoyed it. So yes busy busy. I feel like I'm like a broken record saying that but that is just literally how things are for me right now, which is a good thing. I'm not complaining. It's always good to be busy, I think. I can't remember who said this to me. Someone said this to me, or maybe it's just a saying that I am aware of. If you want to get something done, ask a busy person, because busy people get things done. So it's actually kind of true when you think about it. So yes, I'm here. I just said I would sit down with you for a minute and update you on what's going on with me this week. It's the middle of the week. Odie is here just off camera. He's curled up on the pink chair, under a blanket, as usual. Every now and then I just hear like, <sighs> oh, so stressful, Odie. <laughs> I'm gonna be editing for the rest of today and also doing some cleaning. And as you might notice behind me, I have new bedding on this bed because I have a guest coming to stay tomorrow. I have a visitor arriving tomorrow. My sister Lori is coming to stay with us for a couple of weeks and she comes tomorrow. She arrives tomorrow evening so I'm so excited. I can't wait to see her. I haven't seen her since Christmas so we're gonna have so much fun. I can't wait. I can't wait for her to be here. This is her first time here in the States since pre-Covid and since she came over for our wedding which was back in 2019. I'm excited for her to see where we live and to meet Odie. She has never met Odie so I'm I can't wait for them to connect and form a bond and uh, yeah lots of cuddles I'm anticipating. Yeah so we have some fun things that we want to do and also just a lot of hanging out and catching up in person and it's nice that she's here for a couple of weeks so we have a lot of time. We'll probably do Disneyland at some point because she loves Disney just as much as I do and she can't come to LA and not go to Disneyland. Got some other things that we want to do. I know she really wants to go whale watching so we have to do that. We both love Downton Abbey so we have to go see the new Downton Abbey movie. We're gonna go do that together at some point too. So yes, lots of nice things planned. Cannot wait. So I need to pretty much get this room ready because this is the room she'll be staying in. So I'm gonna move my computer out of here into our bedroom so that we can do work and stuff when we need to to do things and not have to come into Lori's space while she's here. I'll probably move the computer back into this room for like streaming and stuff. I know she won't mind. So the computer needs the ethernet cable to, in, in order to be able to stream. So I'll move the computer back in here for streams and then for editing and everything else, it'll go back to our room while she's here. Yes, so I need to literally get the apartment ready and also keep working on other things. Really need to make some time for Irish dance practice because I have my class tomorrow like literally my class is tomorrow evening and then I have to leave class early, just like a couple minutes early in order to go pick up Lori from the airport. Normally I'm very good for practicing and I like have my stuff ready for the next class, but because we were away at the weekend, I have like the last section of my slip jig <clears throat> that I need to learn. It doesn't even have to be perfect. I just have to know what the steps are. Since starting Irish dancing, I have not left any practice until the day before my next class. So either today, tonight, tomorrow morning, at some point I need to like carve out an hour or something to just practice my slip jig before my class because I want to have it ready. I don't know when I'm gonna vlog again next. Like I'm just gonna spend the rest of today like cleaning and editing and getting stuff done and I have to take Odie for a walk soon too so I said the W word. So I will check in again soon. I'll probably check in tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna film anymore today because I have so much to do so I'll check in again tomorrow. Oops. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god, it's so good. What are we gonna see? Fine, Star Wars. Zarf Carson. Yeah. Oh gosh, it's been a few days. Actually, has it been a week? It's been a week. It's been a whole week since I picked up my camera to vlog. Today is the 1st of June and I'm shocked that it's June. It's crazy. As you can see, it's 4.30. I have my little fireplace going, but it's more just for ambience than heat. It's definitely not for heat. I have so much to update you on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a few reasons why I haven't picked up the camera in a few days. Um, so my sister arrived last Thursday so I've been kind of busy with her and catching up we've done a couple of fun things which you would have seen uh in the previous footage we went to see Downton Abbey at the cinema which oh my god it was so good I loved it I think I liked it more than the previous Downton movie not to say that I didn't like the, the previous one I really like the previous movie that came out a couple years ago was it 2019 yeah the, the movie that came out in 2019 i really liked it but this one i liked a lot more and of course cried no spoilers <laughs> but i cried oh my gosh the helicopters have been non-stop today i swear like every 10 minutes there's been one like circling i feel like they're looking for me you would have also seen our lovely beach walk that we did with od another reason why i didn't really pick up the camera for a few days is that od was actually a little under the weather um for a couple of days now he's fine again he's on antibiotics so he's much better and he's back to his usual self he's been playing and being normal and eating again and everything he's got a little ear infection and it really threw him for a day or two where he was just very sleepy and not very well and he could just tell he was in pain which was horrible i couldn't bear it i didn't really feel like doing much i just wanted to be with him and comfort him but he is absolutely fine now again he's back to normal so also i wanted to show you guys this this is really funny my sister when she came she brought Odie a little present um Odie loves toys like dog toys so she brought him a little duck well it wasn't a little duck like a you know a, yeah a duck a duck toy she brought him a duck oh my god he's he is obsessed with it obsession to a point of decapitation i wanted to show you this because it's kind of funny because he's been bringing part of the duck into bed so this part of the duck has also been sleeping with us too let me just put out a little a little warning graphic content about to pop up here on the screen this is currently 
the favorite part of the dog. <laughs> and it also looks like it's screaming, so that doesn't help. This has been the latest favorite toy a dog's head. <laughs> Odie, he's savage. He's a savage. Also, did, did I explain why I'm in this part of the... I'm actually in the corner. I've set up like a little mini office in the corner of our bedroom at the minute because my sister is staying here and she's in our guest room, which is also like our home office. So she's in that room. So just to be out of her way and not be like, I've pretty much moved the computer in here. So that's why I'm here in this corner of the room. Apologies if the light is weird too. I feel like I've gotten the light to where I like it in the other room, but this, I'm kind of going against the, the natural light here. I also want to show you guys something really cool. Some of you guys will remember back in January, me and Ashton were on a little game show called The Price is Right, which obviously still runs in America, and we were on it uh, back in January. What was our air date? I think it was the 26th of January or something. Our prize finally came. We got our prize. In case any of you didn't see the episode, Ashton got to play. I was in the audience, but I also could have been called to play too. But how it worked out was Ashton's name was called and he bid on a, like an Amazon Echo, like Bluetooth speaker set. And he got the, the nearest price. So that's what we won. So that finally came this week. I thought I would show it to you because it looks really cool. We have I haven't unboxed it yet, but I've just been like, I wanted to show you guys. It looks really cool. These are two of the boxes and these as well. Oh, the first Echo for your car plus Alexa. I don't know. I haven't really looked at this stuff like properly, so I don't know exactly. This just looks like a big speaker. And then this is like a tablet. These little like Echo Dot speakers. These look really cool. Does anyone watch the Flemings, like the Irish Tig Fleming, the Irish family on YouTube? Um, he has so many skits about Alepsa. He's literally one of my favorite people on the internet. Now I can like make my own Ale Alepsa, <laughs> Alepsa skits. So I wanted to just show you that because that's here and it's cool and I don't need to say not sponsored because one on a game show. <laughs> I've never ever said that before. Even though technically it was Ashton. Ashton won it because he guessed the price. Still, it's ours. So um, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Alrighty, so I am going to wrap up this vlog here. Comment, almost forgot. Now again, the vlog only went up today. So there's not a massive amount of comments to pick from, but there are a couple. So let me have a quick look here. This is an interesting comment from Kevin. I know what you're talking about. Like you, I'm a perfectionist. When you were describing yourself, I thought I'm exactly the same way. If I didn't do it right, or I'm happy with the project I'm working on, then I try to fix it or do it over. So that's not just me. Although I didn't think it was because I'm sure lots of people are like this. It's a good thing because it's good to know when something doesn't sound good and you're able to fix it. And also I think it's good to kind of have a, a standard for yourself and for the work you do, especially like creatively. It's good to like keep, keep striving and keep trying to progress and like do a little bit better and just make sure that like things are good before you put them out in the world but then also on the flip side of that when it's a bad thing sometimes you can get stuck and it can be a little bit like paralyzing something that's probably great but maybe you're you're being a bit too self-criticizing and then you can get a bit stuck and and yeah paralyze yourself and not actually achieve anything it's good to be aware of I think just being aware of it that you can do that sometimes I suppose is a good thing but yeah it's definitely I'd say it's you know it's a good and a bad thing. It probably just comes from a place of like wanting to be good. Like I think we just want to be good at what we do and when you're putting things out in, into the world it's very scary and it's very daunting and it's like you want you want your things to be well received and you want people to like what you do. I think it just comes from that and you know like sometimes the world can be harsh and the internet can be you know sometimes we can get our our work torn to pieces um but you know that's also that's also okay doesn't mean that we need to beat ourselves up over it we could just keep going but yes thank you so much kevin for that comment and thank you to all of you who've been liking the videos and like physically liking the videos with the thumbs up button and leaving comments and watching the premieres and just enjoying videos. I appreciate you watching me. I'm gonna let you go. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're new. Please leave a comment and if you want to be in the featured comment, please definitely 
try to leave a comment. <laughs> hope you're having a great day or night, wherever you are, and I hope you're keeping well. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.